to speak about the NME stuff and, you know, the cancellation stuff that obviously, you know, that song is in reflection of, um, you know, oddly enough, I feel like you ran, I, I guess, a pretty good example of like what to do post all of that. I mean, obviously people past that point yeah, yeah, yeah. can have their opinions as to what you did and the substance of, you know, your apology and response after all of that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I mean, you know, you said what you had to say, you made your amends as effectively as I think maybe you could have in that moment. And then you just went on doing what, you know, I think you would have done anyway. And it seemed like, you know, outside of mentioning it, it, you know, in passing in some songs here and there, you didn't allow it to totally consume you or as Skepta was saying, define you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, was was that a bit of a struggle personally to not allow it to define you or sort of like, you know, preoccupy your mind at all times? Um, I, I think it's that thing. People keep, you know, when people tell when there's so many people telling you what you are and like what they think of you it gets in the back it gets in your head whether it's in the back of your mind and you push it to the back and like you kind of start thinking man maybe maybe that is maybe they're right you know and second guessing yourself and then you have to check yourself and be like i know who the fuck i am yeah i know my intentions i know i never have no ill feeling i'm about championing people and like making everyone feel equal and making everyone feel like they're lifted up. So when people want to just put that stimuli on you and stereotype you as this negative person out of one one negative situation, it's like, that ain't right. And my thing is, as a person, I'm trying to grow constantly. So I have to take a look and reflect on what I do and then take the steps forward to move differently and learn from my experiences without mistakes you never learn man so we need to make our mistakes to move forward that's like what am I going to do wallow and sit around and feel sorry for myself forever that's not I got to keep it moving and I got to set a precedent and an example for people like and just just try and live a happy life at the end of it and try and bring some joy to other people's lives it definitely fucked with my head. But before that, I was I was definitely abusing my body. I was taking mad drugs all the time. I was drinking from when I wake up to when I go to sleep. I was exhausted. And then I literally come off a flight to come to that award ceremony. And then just, it all just fucking, fuck, I just fucked my, shot myself in the foot and just ended up being a dick. But there was an ever no ill will between me and Catherine. Like we could talk now and have a great laugh and have a good time. It was me against the comedian and people keep putting it in terms of a woman or like it's nothing to do with male or female. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and the thing I hate about it is people like she's the one that experienced it at the end of the day. You know what I mean? And if she's come out and said, Yo, we was having a joke. It's like, it's not affected her in any way. She didn't feel any negative energy from it. And people are dismissing her words. So it's like, how can you dismiss? It's like they're saying, you're just saying it. But how can you dismiss the person that actually was in the altercation? You know what I mean? Like, you people just blow it up to be something it isn't. And that's the internet, man. They take one thing and they run away with it. And everyone jumps on the bandwagon. So... It is what it is, man. I'm not there for everybody. I'm here for the people who need it. So why be dwell on it? Okay. Um, well, you know, I, I appreciate you, you know, going as into that as you could, um, you know, in, yeah, I'm oh, sick no, of I, talking I, I, about I, it. I, now, I know but... you are, but you know, hopefully this is uh, the, the last time it needs to be, you know, discussed. Thank you very much for watching this interview clip over on TND streams to see the full interview. Click on the video link next to my head or down below, or hit up the link to subscribe to the channel or see our Patreon page to support what we do and get some extra bonus monthly content in the process. Uh, Anthony Fantano forever.